Puppets are great for Key Stage 1 art because they're really easy to make and they're really fun to play with. This week what I thought would be super good fun would be to make some puppets. Goodies. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you? Who else is excited? Oh good, okay cool. So, we're going to make some puppets. We're going to make like pop-up puppets. These puppets are really good to be made with children that are quite young because they're really expressive. There's lots of room for their individual creativity and they've got something that they can play with that's really dynamic at the end of the session. Have a look at these, because these, what are we doing this term? Circus things. Yeah, we're doing circus things. I got these tubes because they sure remind me of circus things. When gathering materials for this session, look out for anything that inspires you. So anything that's bright, shiny, colourful, great textures. I got the tubes today from the scrap store, but all the things I use in sessions are recycled things. So they're all things that I collect. So yoghurt pots, butter tubs, those little tubs that you get if you're going to the deli or you get your coleslaw in, anything like that you can use. Grace, let's imagine we're on a pirate ship. What can we do? These tubes look fun and they are fun. Either you can try and ignore the distraction or you can go with it. And I like to go with it because I've given them something really inspirational and they are inspired by it. So let's go through the ideas. Let's have a little buzz around about, you've got this tube, what could it be? You might be an elephant in the circus and it might be your long elephant nose. Let's try it on. We're going to turn these into puppets, OK? So you've got your tube. The next thing you need is... I need to be super sensible. I need to see super sensible people for this bit. One of the things I'm giving them is a stick. And I want them to be really sensible with it. It's too easy for children to have an item like that and then to wander around the room. Someone gets poked. Someone, you know, pokes themselves. And then we've got a disaster at the beginning. So I want them to all sit down together, be sensible, keep hold of their sticks. Nihal, can you hand out a bit of squidgy, bouncy sponge to everybody? Lorenzo, can you give everybody one rubber band? And then we're going to put the foam and the elastic bands on the top so that I can direct that and see who needs help. Right, you're going to get your stick and you're going to get your sponge and you're going to squish it over the top. But the thing we're using so that children will find tricky to manipulate are the elastic bands. So that bit will need some facilitation. Um, M, we might need a bit of a hand with some people for this bit. Bring Did it back. Bring off. <laughs> what is this thing called? Arthur, that is good. High five. <laughs> right, what you're going to do is you're going to put your foamy bit in the middle. You need a big piece of fabric or foam about the size of a big pizza. This is kind of forming the neck of the puppet and twist it round so what you want to do is you want to put the rubber bands on so it looks like a head okay right go to a table now please let's have uh, four to a table one on each side so you're not all squished up like a squashed pea you need to attach the fabric to the top of the tube so to give yourself an easy time get an elastic band stretch that round to hold the fabric onto the tube or the cup and then stick it down with some sellotape or some masking tape. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it stronger. Charlie and Drew have just been showing us how the poppet pops up. He wiggles inside the tube and then, boink, he pops up. <gasps> and then he's gone. And then he pops up. So if he was a clown, he might be doing a trick, mightn't he? He might be hiding. Then they're going to get out. They're going to get out of their imaginations and then they're going to start decorating. So they're going to start inventing their characters, looking at the materials that are on the table, looking at the colours they've got, the shapes they've got, what other things they have, the paints, the glues, whatever they want to use to start inventing their characters. I've put this fluffy thing on and I've painted a face and some purple hands and I've painted some of the and I put this on there. At the end of the session, the children will be really proud about what they've made. They can be used in role play, they can be used in imaginative play, they can be used to enhance an exercise or to bring in another dynamicism. You know, it might not be that you're working on anything to do with circus, but you might be talking about disguise or hiding or mystery, and they would be great puppets to use for that because they pop in and pop out of their cups.